Hey, this is Mike Lee Singer of Paramount, and you're fucking watching Metal Rules TV. The underground meets the playground. That was epic. Exactly. You like that, dude? Paramount? <laughs> Quick, you're going to do it in sign language. What? Looks this like is, you started doing sign language. This is Zach. I did in metal horns. Yeah. Zoro. <laughs> I did the metal horns. Yo, you know, you know what's better than metal horns, dude? The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle oh, handshake. Oh, yeah, it is. Check this out, dude. Do, do, do this. that. Stop it. Or am I doing wrong? Just, and then. Teenage Mutant Dude, if you were a Teenage Mutant Turtle, that's how you would. Three, yeah, because they got three fingers. Yeah, dude. We interviewed one of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Did we? Oh, no shit. Yeah, Corey Feldman. Uh, that's right. Holy shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. <laughs> that's so awesome. We're tied into every single. <laughs> and not only that, but I interviewed the guy that created New Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles' wife. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. Julie Strain. Oh, that's shit. Awesome. And She's ridiculous. Uh, there's more time. Corey Feldman's ex-wife as well. And Corey Feldman's ex-wife as well. Yeah. Wow. Just you guys are going and after everybody's like wives and ex-wives and everything. Yeah, we, we work our way around. <laughs> While she was made up like a zombie. She yes. Was <clears throat> she was covered in scars. Zombies can be sexy, dude. She was pretty hot. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah, I just would never get a blowjob from a zombie. That's that's just. That sounds. Well, sounds like you're bad, like, yeah. Ill advised. Yeah. yeah. Sounds like it could be like your last blowjob as a human. Right. Yeah. You become a zombie. By the way, I'm Matt Givens. Hi. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm Jeff Rappaport. <laughs> and you are? We did this. Yeah. You did this. He did. Yes, he did. Yeah, I did. Hey, wait. Yeah. I'm Zach. Once yeah, again, I'm like Zach right. from the Dormer Band. Sound like acceptable. Sound like acceptable. Okay, cool. Alright, so in the news, Soulfly <laughs> are releasing their ninth album, Savages. Nine. On October 4th, and they're at Nuclear Blast now. Wow. Are they really? Yeah. Wow. Did that just happen? They were signed to Roadrunners for a while, right? For the like, longest time. time. Yeah. As Billy Joel might say. But, like, that, like what's with Roadrunners? Here, it's gone, it's yeah, back. It's Roadrunners. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Roadrunner, man, I feel like they're not signing a lot of metal bands recently. Like, they got Machine Head. Uh, I believe Rob Zombie signed to them. Death yes. Driver? Yeah. I think Rob they got Nickelback. Totally. They oh, got and that's as heavy as it goes, dude. Nick, our guitarist Nick loves Nickelback. And Joe <laughs> loves Nickelback. <laughs> no. no. Fuck no, dude. Not good. <laughs> no, I don't. I, no, I don't, man. I'm just joking. Well, the CD was produced <laughs> by uh, Terry Date, who's like mm -hmm. a legendary producer. Soundgarden, Pantera. Yeah. Pantera, yeah, fucking Terra, dude. And there's going to be... Uh, Monkey as Tits McGee. Monkey Tits McGee was mm -hmm. one of my favorite bands that he was in. Did, they, did, they did you guys see that, that uh, metal... Uh, uh, the, Europe, the Europe version of that metal. Uh, what? Da -da -da -da. You know that guy that did the. Uh, <laughs> da -da -da. Da -da -da. The, the dude. Countdown. The dude that did that metal. That metal special. Metal evolution. That young, that young kid with the little blonde hair. Dennis the Menace. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Macaulay the hand, the Hanson boys. <laughs> Richie Rich. <laughs> he did that, that yeah. documentary <laughs> about <laughs> metal and like. He's oh, Sam Dunn. Right, right, right. Something yeah. like that. Yeah. He did. He did one on Sepultura, man. Did a European like underground metal. Have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah. And Mass Cavalera was on it. Because they did a big thing on. <laughs> Who's a swell guy? Right? Like, like Sepultura was like. The, and Mass Cavalera was talking about. Thing. He was <laughs> talking about how when they were younger. They wanted uh, bullet belts, like Venom. Like, they saw Venom with bullet belts, and they yeah. were like, yeah, man, we need that. And he's <laughs> like, so we got a bunch of batteries, and we put, like, crown-looking -like things on them. Did he tell us the same story, I think? Yeah. I think so, yeah. And he was like, cool, now we have bullet belts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the way he says it in Diamond is yeah, dude. He's like, so, so we got these bullet belts, man, and then we were like, cool, now we have bullet belts. <laughs> That was the It was just so funny, dude. That's why I started buying bullet belts, just for that, dude. <laughs> I always wanted a bullet belt. My wife, I, I used, used to have that. You know what? I had one. I, I have one. one, and it is such a pain in the dick to put in real, and out the loops. Is it a real bullet belt? Yeah, man. Like, I, I gotta stay away from fire. Yeah, yeah, like, loops, go not off. A yeah I want a real bullet belt. Like, a real, <laughs> yeah. like, a, not, not the fake one. Like, I mean, if you have to try to go in there, it's still go off, dude. Yeah. I want a real one. Yeah. Bullet belt doesn't go in and out of your fucking. I thing. want one that I'll be arrested at, at the airport for. Yes. Like a real one. Yeah. Like I can't fly with it. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm gonna get pulled over and they're gonna be like, what's up with this? Yeah. Why is little, an old man. Little suspect. Why is there an old man with bullets running his ankles? <laughs> I'm like, I'm, I'm like way too old for a bullet belt. <laughs> bullet belts is shit, dude. Unless I'm yeah, actually cool. in a band, I should not be going anywhere with a bullet belt on. <laughs> Fuck it, dude. Shows. Why not? Yeah, I, I don't know. Just Shows at JR's, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Hey guys, I got a bullet boat on. Right, great. 
Who's the old man with the bullet belt? Jeff Rapport. Jeff Rapport. Yeah. I know that. Oh yeah, that guy. Yeah, who are you? Bullet belt. Mm. He probably has sneakers too. <laughs> That's the thing I went through a little phase. The Crocs. only thing is, I don't think Crocs and bullet belts go together. I can rock Crocs, he man. Loves not Crocs. Crocs. <laughs> He's not a man. Not a man. What do you think of putting little kids in Crocs? What Child abuse. Child abuse. Would, you, would you put your little boy in Crocs? They're so comfortable. No, man. Have you, have you ever had a pair of Crocs? Hell no. Because you don't. They are like walking on, on clouds, dude. No. Yes, man. that's why I wear them. They're so comfortable. I don't care. Don't I, I probably wouldn't wear them. Dude, my feet are totally. I probably wouldn't put my kids in. My to feet are totally blistered and fucked up. And this is like walking in clouds. It's like. It's like Do you wear Crocs to work? No, I, I can't. Would no, you if you could? I can't walk 13 miles in Crocs. Sure. <laughs> if, I, if I could, sure. I'd be tripping all the time. Yeah. Like, you know, tripping balls? Tripping balls, son. Tripping balls. This smell is so big right now. All right, so on, the, on this new album, uh, so fly. Yeah, there's gonna be guest vocals by Tony Campos, who's yeah. actually you know in the band player. already. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Igor Cavalera. Oh mm. no, no shit. Yeah. No, his son. Didn't mean. Oh. What? Not the Sepultura one. His son. Oh, that's no his son. Ludi Oh yeah. no shit. Clutch is Neil Fallon. Nice. I don't like clutch. Right? I actually don't dig clutch, man. I don't dig clutch either. I love really? Clutch. Yeah. I, I don't get the obsession, man. I just I don't like them. I get it. I get it though. I, I absolutely hate that song. One zero one. Zero, I don't hate zero. them. I just don't. I, I just don't do anything for that, it. No, that song I just don't like. Before, because Matt will say that I t tell people I hate it. If I if I say this likes, then he hates Matt automatically assumes I hate clutch. something. He's like, hates. I was talking about Ghost the other day. About how I just, dude, I think the Ghosts are overrated. Yeah. Right, and Matt's like, he hates them. He hates them. I was or, like, I, I, like, I never saw I, I hate them. We were talking about metal, dude. We were talking metal with Ghost. It's it's the concept. Right. Fuck the it's concept, the whole dude. concept of it. It just intrigues people. It makes people want to see it. it. Makes people want to listen to it. That's what Ghost is all about. All right, we're going back to this. Also on the album is, this is so fun, Napalm yeah. Deaths, Mitch Harris. Nice. That's awesome. Yeah. And Jamie Hanks of I Declare War. I can. I, I don't even understand what Mitch Harris could even do. No, but I want to hear album. it. I don't want to yeah. hear what he's got to do. Cause so, like, I want to hear what, what he's got to say. I'm there. assuming that maybe this Soulfly album has a little bit of grind influence into it. Possibly. If, well, that last yeah. one. If well, Mitch Harris has anything to do with it. The last one had that guest bones by uh, Cattle Cap yeah. Nation. Oh, no, really? Yeah. Trevor? Tra Tra I, don't, I, don't, I don't have all Travis, the Soulfly. Yeah, yeah that's a, what's it called? I got Murder Penis? Murder Penis. That song, Murder Penis. That right? sounds like Favorite exactly song. something that Travis would be no. on. Yeah. I got back to the premiere thing, man. And they, that's got, that's got cool <laughs> Taylor from Slipknot on Jump the Fuck Up. You remember that album? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a Mac Trump. Jump the fuck up or whatever, dude. I, li I like that. I like that he does that. Like, yeah. He brings, like, the... the. I mean, I loved, like, um... All, like, uh... God, I'm trying to fucking bite now. Too many shots. Sorry. No. Can I see those napkins? You hated Sepultura? He hates Sepultura. You yeah. hate Sepultura? No. We're, we're talking about uh, Roots, Buddy Roots. Ghost, okay. Clutch, uh, and Sepultura. I love, like, I love Roots, Buddy Roots. But people are like, that, that draws a line with my people. Some people don't like that. I, I personally not, love I, that. I, I like Roots, Buddy Roots. I liked, and I liked, I liked it because it's what I was first introduced to, and I, I appreciate it. I was introduced but to But everything that before it. that, it was the shit from Sepultura. I liked all of it. Yeah. Yeah. I, I listen to some new stuff. No, I find it. Wait, no, you said this is, is not my favorite album. It. You said this is through Nuclear Blast, though? Yeah. That's wild. Yeah, Beneath the Rain is not my favorite album. Hates it. It's like one of those things where people say, like, oh my god, that's the best album. And I'm uh, like, I don't think that's the best yeah, album. Yeah, the best. No. Rise is Yo, you know what? I didn't like the album. I like the Rise and Cast. I, did, I saw the album artwork for the new Soul Fly album. I didn't dig that, though. Wow, what was wrong with it? I don't know. Murder Penis? It was like. You didn't like the Murder Penis? <laughs> it, was, it was real cartoony. It was weird. It was like Bugs a, Bunny was on it? It was like a big yellow mask. It was Bugs Bunny with a penis. Was it this? Was this the album cover? It was a big yellow mask. It's an S. It's an Soulfly. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> Soulfly. Here's an exclusive. Yeah. They've changed it to this logo. That's the new Soulfly album cover. <laughs> nice. I would prefer that. All accented by Matt's delicious nipples. Dude, did you, you, did you see that? the new Superman movie? <laughs> did yes. You, did, no, was, was it good? It? I liked it. 
Really? Yeah, still, yeah. Did you find him convincing as both I see shit, Superman yeah. and Peter, uh, Peter Parker? Peter well, Parker. do you want me to spoil it a little bit for you? No. I'm never going to watch it. I'll forget it. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, I'm never going to watch it. He's not it. really in it as Clark Kent, as you know. He's in it as Superman. What? It's, he's pretty much just Superman the whole time. There's yeah. no Clark Kent? Yeah. Is his name Todd? Well, no, his name, I mean, he's from the, you know, the, the Kents find the baby and all that stuff, but his, as far as the Clark Kent reporter that works at the Daily Planet and wears the glasses, that's not in the movie. They don't have that at all? No. Yes, Why? Really? Just kind of... He just kind of comes into there as just Superman. That's unacceptable. Are there villains? No, I, I thought it was Are a great, great choice. Oh, yeah. General Cause, Zod. Because I feel like... Well, Super- Lois Lane. That's so weird. I, I mean, feel like it's... Superman doesn't have good villains, dude. You know? No, it's General Zod. Like, Spider-Man's got, like, all kind of crazy villains. Batman's got crazy villains. But Superman's like, no one can beat me. I'm the shit. I'm like, fuck you, Superman. What about Brainiac? Yeah, Brainiac. Brainiac was on it. General Zod was. He was played by the... Um, What's his oh, name? Michael guy? Shannon. From oh, the yeah, Wonder I love that guy. Yeah, was he great? He was awesome. He was amazing. He was real awesome. I love that guy. Sorry. Michael Shannon is awesome. Yeah. Lex Luthor. What about... Um, Lex Luthor was not in any other... You know what they should have? They should make the next Superman movie should be Mr. Mix the Pickle. I heard they're doing something with Superman. I liked in the cartoon Batman. when they had him and Gilbert Gottfried was the voice. I heard yeah. they're doing a... You guys Mr. Mix the Pickle? I don't know. He's a little gremlin yeah. thing. Like, hey, hey, say my what about the Impossible Man? They should get him in the show. Before our time. Before our time. Before our time. You kids today, you don't know Mr. Mr. Mix the Pickle? Mix the Pickle? No. Is that how you say it, Mr. Mix the Pickle? It's something weird. Like Mix the Pickle? Yeah. Mix the Pickle? No, it's actually like, it's something different. I think Maria's right. Well, that's that's the popular way to say it, but it's actually something different. I, I think, think that was Mix the Pickle. Say, say, say it two times fast. Mix the Pickle. And the more, and the more, Modern. I think. Wait, can I, can I? Max, you need to get Mr. Mix the Pickle on your next album. Definitely. Yeah. He could, he could kind of like jump, or maybe get him for like the live show. He could kind of like Sir Mix a lot. He can jump the fuck up. <laughs> yeah, he can jump the fuck up jump and appear and disappear. And, yeah. They can say his name backwards. You say Soulfly backwards, which is Ilflos. Yeah, Ilflos. Ilflos. If you say it three times, Max will appear. Ilflos. Definitely. And Max is a kick-ass guy. So yeah, he is. Lovely family. Lovely we love you, Cavaliers. We love you very Don't much. Love to the Cavaliers. And that's what we have on Soulfly. Soulfly.